Love it, love it. Hey, good afternoon. It's cold out there right now, but it is about to get a whole lot colder. We've got a wind chill warning now in effect for parts of western North Carolina and northeast Georgia. What you're looking at right now is where the wind chills are expected to be the lowest. We're talking 20 to 30 below zero as you go up in higher elevations that will increase. And then for the upstate, we've got a wind chill advisory where some of these wind chills could go as low as negative five. Again, this is the feels like, but this is where it starts to get really dangerous. Let's take a look as we go into tomorrow morning. We've got an Arctic front that's going to come through and look at this. By the time you're getting ready to head out the door, the cold air will be here. Those winds will be whipping and that wind chill will be a factor as we go throughout the day. Tomorrow temperatures will drop and look at where the wind chills will be by tomorrow night into Saturday morning. That's where it's really going to be. It's coldest. So this is the kind of wind chill that you do not want to be out and about in. It's certainly not for long. Look at this wind chill time to frostbite. That's right, frostbite. When it's negative 18 to negative 38, again, this is just the wind chill. It only takes about 10 to 30 minutes to get frostbite. So again, we just caution you to say, hey, if you can stay inside, please do, especially in some of those areas that are going to get, you know, 20 below zero pretty regularly over the next couple of days. If you have to step outside, make sure that your skin is covered. Make sure that you are layered. We're talking about, you know, the, the hat. Make sure that you've got gloves on and those layers to help keep some of that warmth from being pulled away from you too quickly. On top of that, we've got a wind advisory. Some of these winds are going to be on the stronger side, not sustained winds, but wind gusts of 40, 45 miles per hour as this front is coming through during the very early morning hours tomorrow. But is even as our temperatures are dropping throughout the day tomorrow, these winds will stay up all the way through Saturday at times, keeping that blustery, cold wind chill effect very much intact Friday and Saturday. This this is the culprit, by the way. Ahead of it, we've got cold air, but it's really behind it. But look at that, a little bit of snow. And yes, some of that will fall in the mountains, but we're talking about a dusting to very little accumulation for most. Let's walk you through it as we go throughout the day today, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, winds begin to pick up just a little bit, but here we go. After midnight tonight, we'll start to see a few scattered showers. Even the rain will be very isolated across the upstate. Might even see some freezing rain mixing in with this. Might even see some flurries, but again, this is 1 to 3 a.m. Look how quickly this moisture comes and goes. The air behind this is so incredibly dry that it's just going to dry up all that moisture very quickly. So a quick shot of flurries, some light snow in the mountains, and that's going to be about it by six or seven o'clock. By the time the sun is coming up, most, if not all of it is gone. And what's left behind is just those blistering wind chills that will be coming our way tomorrow, Saturday, and even Christmas Day won't be as cold or as windy, but it's still going to be pretty chilly. So Friday and Saturday are alert days because of those dangerous wind chills. By the way, temperatures will be at their warmest tomorrow. First thing in the morning, then they'll start to drop. We'll be in the 20s as we head into the afternoon and eventually the teens and single digits. So again, tomorrow, Saturday, very, very cold days. Christmas Day, I do think we'll get above freezing across the upstate, but not in the mountains. Now, here's some good news heading into the mid and latter part of next week, we will begin to warm things back up. So there's some good news there. In fact, warming up to above the seasonal average heading into the end of the year and even January 1st should be nice and warm.